Be a thought leader. Grow your knowledge community. Create more mind reach. E extension. Red Imported Fire Ant Management, a teaching module for advanced master gardener training. Why is the red imported fire ant so tough to manage? There are several reasons. Fire ant colonies can move very easily. They are omnivorous. They do not rely on only one food source. Their life cycle ensures survivability. Fire ant queens have a high reproductive potential and are able to repopulate quickly. They have a large number of colonies in areas that they infest. Fire ants are invasive species, have very little competition and their biological traits such as hybridization and multiple queen colonies keep fire ants so difficult to manage. Let's look at a real example of reinfestation by the red imported fire ant. At this test site there were anywhere from 15 to more than 80 mounds per acre. An insecticide was applied which eliminated a hundred percent of the fire ant colonies at the time. Six to eight weeks later, tiny new nests were observed in this area. Six months later, mounds as large as two to five inches in diameter were found. Moreover, there were possibly 400 of these per acre. One year after treatment, the mounds were four to six inches in diameter and at a density of about 120 mounds per acre. Two to five years later, the mounds were now large at a density of 15 to 80 or more per acre. Fire ants came back at the same density two to five years after treatment. Fire ants can spread through a variety of different ways. During mating flights, fire ants fly up in the air and wind can help move them from their original location. Mound disturbance can also cause fire ants to move over fence lines. And human transport is a very common way that fire ants can move and spread. Humans move fire ants in soil and nursery stock, turf grass, hay and through vehicles. This is a good example of where fire ants may thrive. Fire ants in this location are especially dangerous because children are exposed and can disturb mounds causing fire ants to attack. Fire ants now infest over 330 million acres in the United States and Puerto Rico. In the southeastern United States fire ants are considered to be the dominant ant species. It is estimated that the overall cost of fire ants across the U.S. is over a billion dollars annually. The principal areas of expansion in the southeastern U.S. include Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. The principal areas of fire ant expansion in the southwestern United States include Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. The impact of fire ants is expansive and the effects nearly every arena imaginable. The impact of fire ants includes negative effects on human health, agriculture and livestock, nursery and landscape industry, wildlife, biodiversity, utilities, recreation and tourism, transportation and environmental quality. This image illustrates the pustules caused by fire ants on a human hand. The pustule that forms as a result of the venom injected during the sting is unique to fire ant stings. The pain experienced is also where fire ants receive their common name. Agriculturally, fire ants can become an issue. Fire ants prefer to make their mounds where soil is soft and continuously watered. In agricultural areas, irrigation results in a perfect habitat for fire ants. Fire ants are also a pest in okra crops because they feed on the oily interior of the okra. Wildlife is negatively affected by fire ants. Fire ants sting ground nesting birds, reptiles, and mammals and are especially harmful to newly born animals. Fire ants decrease biodiversity of invertebrates and vertebrates by stinging and killing animals that share the same niche and habitat as fire ants. They are also very territorial and will displace vertebrates and invertebrates from an area, also decreasing biodiversity. In utility boxes and electrical units, fire ants are a common issue. Fire ants are attracted to the electrical currents, disrupt contactors, and other electrical system parts. Fire ants also nest in electrical transformer boxes because the shelter they provide is ideal for building fire ant mounds. 
In the nursery and landscape industry, fire ants build mounds in landscapes and nursery pots. Managing the Red Imported Fire Ant, REFA. Currently, there are more than 150 products labeled for fire ant control. Most of these give good control, but only when properly used. It is important to know that none of these provide fire ant control for very long, and multiple strategies are those that work best when managing fire ants. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, emphasizes using a variety of tactics. It also emphasizes using judicious use of pesticides, managing populations below levels that cause problems, and advocates management of fire ant problems. IPM is effective, economical, and ecologically sound. Fire ant management tactics using integrated pest management include sanitation, physical and mechanical control, and chemicals. With sanitation, the best tactics are to keep shrubs and trees away from buildings because this forms a bridge into the home, keep trash can bins clean because the oil and trash inside the trash cans will attract fire ants. Physical and mechanical control includes hot water or boiling water poured over mounds and barriers to keep fire ants from entering given areas. Chemical control involves using registered pesticides and always following label directions. There are many home remedies that you may find for fire ant control. Grits simply do not work. Workers do not eat solid food. Therefore, grits cannot enter their stomach to cause them to explode. Mixing mounds is another home remedy. It doesn't work, and it's simply too dangerous. The risk of being stung by fire ants by two mounds is too high. Gasoline is another home remedy. Do not use gasoline. Gasoline is dangerous, it is a serious pollutant to our environment, kills plants, and makes fire ant colonies move, but does not kill them. Other home remedies include bleaches and cleaning solutions, as well as other household cleaners. Again, don't use them. They are dangerous, serious pollutants, and they will kill your plants. Fire ant chemical management today comes in a variety of different options. You may find chemical management as a broadcast bait or granular material. These can be insecticides or insect growth regulators, insecticidal dusts and liquids, individual mound treatments, which can be found as insecticide granules, dusts, or liquids, barrier treatments around structures, or a combination of broadcast baits and individual mound treatments. Fire ant chemicals work in one of two ways. General insecticides kill both workers and queens. These can be slow or fast acting. Insect growth regulators, or IGRs, mimic insect hormones. They prevent queens from laying viable and fertile eggs. Workers do not die from ingesting insect growth regulators. Only the queen is affected. Workers die from old age. They are very slow acting because you must wait for all the workers to die off before the colony is actually affected.